right? Um, life and death. But uh, Umaga, Eddie Fatu, your brother. Yes. <sighs> Incredible talent. Oh, man. Can you talk to us and just tell us about your brother <laughs> and what kind of person this man was? Because as a wrestling fan, what a talent. But I could imagine with someone being that talented, what a great human being he probably was. <clears throat> yes, um, again, these are uh, very sensitive, you know, that come out. But uh, again, I'll just keep it real. He, my brother was a good person. I'm not just telling you or the world because he's my brother. You have to know him to say these things, and I know him. He was a good person, a good human being, a good dad, a good uncle, a good brother. He was a given man. I mean, the money that he made and, and he shared his blessings is the same what I did when I was a kid. I shared my blessings. And, uh, you know, my brother, Edward Fatu, my mom calls him Edward Fatu. I was wondering, like, who are you calling Edward Fatu? I didn't know that was his real name. You know, <laughs> you know that's his, your brother's real name. I thought it was Eki, you know, but it said, no, it's Edward Fatu. It's on a birth certificate. But, uh, my brother Humanga was a a good man. Like I said, it's just uh, sad that he left so early. He went so so quick, yeah. so fast, and uh, and to this day is uh, it's hard. We're still trying to deal with it, and I know it's been a while. But anytime you lose a loved one, it's uh, those are hard to bounce back from. Uh, we got to learn how we I try to really learn how to dust myself up even with Yoko I always think what would be if they were still alive and here with us or with me you know what would it be like a celebration there's always laughing and joy all the time with us so we miss half of that you know we miss half of the Samoans our family you know they're all falling everyone's falling like dominoes right now and a lot has to do with the choices they make, the stuff they eat, the things they do in life, you're putting in your body. You know, it, it's all up to you, you know, whether you want to move forward in life or not. But my brother had some issues he was dealing with. And, you know, it can, again, like I said, it can be family issue. It can be work issue. It could be maybe he didn't go, Vince sent him, I guess, to some rehab or whatever the case may be but uh, again you know you can't stick I can lead the horse to the water but I can't make you drink it you know but uh yeah I mean he, he's a good person he really was well, like, again I'm not saying that because he's my brother please don't don't I'm not trying to be a hero or say oh you only say it because his brother no I'm telling you he is a good person a good human being a good dad a good brother he was just a given person you know and he was humble he just happened, I mean, the spotlight they gave him, he earned that. I mean, he's a good fucking wrestler, man, mm -hmm. a good mm -hmm. worker, a savage, a beast, a bulldozer. You call it all. You combine all them wrestlers in one, that's my brother Humanga right Sam, there. Sam, I would hope that it would be comforting at least to you because I'm sure you recognize this. Since his passing, his legend Absolutely. amongst wrestling fans has grown to almost mythological proportions. People want him in the Hall of Fame yesterday. I mean, th that must make you feel good at least, I would assume. Yes, yes. I mean, at least they recognize him. At least they thought about him. You oh, know what I mean? He's great. Sam, I, Sam, I'm going to tell you a true story. Great. I have a daughter. She's 30 now. If I was going to have a son and my wife could back this up, my daughter could back this up, I was going to name my son <laughs> Umaga. And no that is way. The truth. What a... He no, won. that is the truth. He if my won. wife no was way. here, she would tell you. I was Umaga naming Monty. my son Umaga. Umaga. There's Umaga right here. That's it, baby, Umaga. Umaga.